This team beset by injuries, almost a sense of disbelief with their bad luck, but also determination to carry on and fight. So the New York starting five, they've got Taj Gibson, Barrett is out there with Peyton, then it's Randy, and it's Bullock in at the small forward position. And for the Pistons, Jackson is out there with Brown, then there's Dumboya, then there's Maker, and it's Snell in at the three spot. And this is what we've been waiting for all summer long, all off season long, after many months, Doris, basketball is finally back. And what's incredible, Kevin, is the NBA's popularity just continues to grow. There's worldwide enthusiasm. The NBA players represent the league so well, and my goodness gracious, can they play some basketball? Interesting how now the league, Doris, is commanding the calendar. All year round it used to be such a seasonal game. Now it's 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 365 days a year. So many storylines throughout the course of the summer. Who's playing where and with whom? And the basket by Jackson. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Four-point game. Their last meeting was in Detroit, where they were unable to fight off the Pistons. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. And the dunk by Maker. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim. Greg a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Pass to Bullock. Five on the clock. Pass to Barrett. Out to Payton. Let's the three fly. The shot comes out, and Detroit the other way now. Jackson in the corner. Drains it from beyond the arc. Jackson's got seven points in the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Peyton looking it over. Randall outside. They get it. Trying to get open is Gibson. Randall no good. Three straight misses to begin the game. Not the start they were hoping for. Brown outside. Back to Jackson. Passes it to Snell. I'm deep. Randall grabs the board. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Peyton kicks to Barrett. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Here's Snell. Jackson has the open look. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Peyton passes to Gibson. The jump hook, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And there it is. After four straight misses, finally nail one. Brown finds Jackson. Back to Brown. Here's Snell. He's guarded by Bullock. Just find the shoot. Maker misses. Knicks trail by seven. Bullock dishes to Pate. Now the pass to Randall. Three-pointer. Peyton can't get it to go. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the piston. Outside Jackson. Shoots the three. Can't get it to drop. Made three. Missed two from the field. New York's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. 
with the ball. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Orlando. And I felt like his offense fed right into his deep. He caused a bunch of turnovers. There was just no let up in him all night. It's good. Nine points for Reggie Jackson. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Stolen by Jackson. And now the Pistons fast break. And Jackson throws it down home. Quick, already out to a double digit lead. Wow, they've come out strong, control the pace, assert their will. Nice. And, and as long as Reggie Jackson is healthy, he's going to give you some punch as a lead guard. Solid scoring option and a guy who's also unselfish in terms of getting his teammates involved. Wants to get it to Brown and does. And it's blocked. This has to energize Barrett. He needs to keep bringing this type of intensity to the defensive end. Jackson gets the button. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. And for the last half decade, Reggie Jackson has been good for about 15 points a game. And that is about the consistency you can expect from Jackson. He's always been a talent. The key for him is just staying on the floor. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. him last season he was around 21 points per game eight rebounds and three assists he's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch offense coming very easily for him and so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor make the right decision and then go right after the action he wants now here's Peyton Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And a trying summer for the New York Knicks fans after trading away Przingis. They were hoping to get a big name player in free agency, Greg, and they didn't. You know, shocking. They refused to offer the max to Kevin Durant. I mean, there were concerns with the Achilles, but instead he ends up in Brooklyn. Combine that with fans' disappointment at missing Shoot out two. on Zion Williamson, and the saga continues. good from Peyton. First, do you have high hopes for the new draft lottery system uh, to, to keep every team competitive to the very end of the season? Well, one of the keys in implementing this new draft lottery system was to make sure that the bottom three teams were given equal opportunity to get that top draft choice. I think you did see it have some effect on uh, play and teams trying to be competitive while understanding they're still going to have an opportunity to build their team through the draft. But here's the reality. The NBA has got to be under review constantly. There's a process in play. It's one of the most proactive leagues in the country in terms of always looking for little things to make sure their game is the best it can be. Attention to detail. Well said. Here's Peyton following the score by Reggie Jackson. Count it. There you go. Not the best start, but maybe that's the shot that gets him in rhythm. The Pistons on offense. They're on a 17-6 run. the wing Brown down low Dumboya with it Randall on him Dumboya can't get it to go just doing the job on the backboard it's Randall with the drive does not score again that's his fourth miss against one mate I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing like he's forcing some shots this quarter he has been completely bothered Peyton the bounce pass. From about 16. 
handle down low. Yep, that one goes. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. leaderboard with the list of the league's top shot blockers from last season you look at Robinson second in the NBA a great defender and shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most that's where he puts in that effort and energy here's Wood coming off a solid outing against Phoenix here's Galloway the 11 footer and that's good and the Pistons lead by 13. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. No doubt, Greg. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Knox. Portis kicks to Ellington. Oh, no good on the three. Detroit leading by 13. Let's go. They get it back. Henson shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. First trip to the line for him here. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. good from Henson he makes one of two that time Doris great scoring is often reliant upon great foot and, and we are coaches, don't we talk about that all the time? We really do, Kev. You, you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving, who at the point guard position is one of the great scorers. He's a clutch shooter. He doesn't go to the free throw line a lot, and it's because he's so elusive. He can finish left and right, puts a lot of English on his shots. DeMar DeRozan gets separation with incredible footwork and maybe the best in the league right now in terms of his footwork, that, that tap-dancing James Harden, which is yes. just nearly yes. impossible to check. I love those names. You're so right. And it's fun to watch. What a skill. Now, here's Ellington. Coming in off a 12-point game, his last outing. Smith, the pass to Portis. Just four to shoot. Kept alive by New York. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Robinson six to shoot Ellington from outside and you know what call it great defense or poor offense either way they're limiting their score back to Galloway as to answer 
Robinson. Over Robinson. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end, Greg. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Now, here is Robinson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Pass to Wood. King outside. Back to Wood. And the foul on Dennis Smith Jr. That's his first foul. Henson against Robinson. And Henson kicks to Wood. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. The shot will not fall. The Knicks go the other way with it. Knox the pass to Smith. Here's Knox, tipped away. In the corner, it's Ellington. Smith outside. On the wing. New York now working with the new shot clock. And Henson sends it back. Out of bounds, Detroit takes possession. Looking now at some numbers for Dennis Smith. Some last season stats for him. He put up about 13 points a game last season. Four assists and three rebounds. And he had to pay his dues that rookie campaign, earning his stripes. A lot of people think he could have a breakout year this season. Well, when you hear it from his coaches and his teammates, they've been singing his praises. So let's see if he can prove them right. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Knicks trail by seven. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Sweet little floater. Boy, perfecting the floater would make Dennis Smith Jr. unguardable. How about that pretty jumper? King, left side. We've got 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. He kicks it to Galloway. Block is at three. And another three for Detroit. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Now Smith. From deep three-point range. And that one released in time, but no good. Reggie Jackson firing on all cylinders for Detroit. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We come back right after this. Portis, who's known for his work ethic, said he learned a lot from his mother. She gets up at 3, 4 in the morning and gets off at 1, 2 in the evening. You know, she works hard for her four boys. You know, she breaks herself off daily. You know, I always try to pride myself in hard work also because how hard she worked for me. And she was a basketball player in her own right. Greg, a scholarship at Jackson State University. Yeah, and gave up basketball when she had Bobby. But she encouraged him to pursue his dream, and she said now she's living her dream through him. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Pistons here, guys. Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. 
We've got Wood. He's out there with John Henson, and it's King at the three. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, we all know that circumstances and time changes everything. In Dallas, Dennis Smith Jr. thought he was going to be the cornerstone. But with the arrival of Luka Doncic, everything changed. The promising point guard was traded to the Knicks. And Smith said it was important. It's a big opportunity, and I've just got to make the most of it. And Kevin, we know one thing. In New York, the ball is back in Smith's hands. D.A., that's when he is at his best. Thank you. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. This is his foul. That's his first first foul. the Knicks with the ball. Trailing by 17. Shot clock at 6. Back to Ellington. New York needs to get off a shot. From deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Detroit Pistons. On Friday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Saturday, the New York Knicks come to town, tipping off a homestand for them. And the Pistons making a change here. Jackson's checked in. They're checked in for the Knicks. Jackson looking around and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So here is New York, and it's in there. Galloway has got seven. You know, Galloway just so calm inside. Even when he's challenged on the shot, he's got a lot of poise for a guard. Passes to Knox. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, you look at the length of Knox Doris, his arm span, his frame, he can be a handful. No doubt. Kevin Knox is able, because of that frame you talked about, to shrug off contact and muscle through most players. His reach allows him to be disruptive on the defensive end. So in terms of the physical metrics, Take a break. you love what Take this guy brings to the table. Two shots. No good on that one. You hear this a lot, Doris. The great offense always beats great defense. I think that's true. I do, Kevin. I think obviously a defender is usually in reactionary mode. It's the rare defender who is dictating to the offensive player what they want to happen. So imagine trying to impact LeBron James as he's playing in the open floor with a head of steam. Like, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> And Kevin Knox, yet another player out of the University of Kentucky. We've seen so many enter the NBA from that program. What they love about Kevin Knox is his ability to score at all three levels. Now Barrett, after the miss three from Reggie Jackson. And Randall throws it down. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, Greg, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Reggie Jackson. Well, you love that Frank Nielakina went up so strong for that. He puts the official in a position where he's got to get to the foul line. Nicely done. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And with Knox, the Knicks kept feeding him minutes, Doris, allowing him to learn on the fly. Yes, because of the circumstance with his team, he got a lot of the offense running through him as the season progressed. And for Kevin Knox, he had ample room to grow and make mistakes, and that's critical to his development. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 
Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. And there's the pass to make. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Maker's got five points so far. Yeah, and when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Offensive rebound. Neely Kina kicks to Randall. Up top, Bullock. He's covered by Brown. Five on the clock. Here's Neela Kina. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. And so Brown will bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now, here's Bullock. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Orlando. Jackson in the corner for the three, and another three for Detroit. And Jackson has become a reliable three-point shooter. That's a shot you got to respect. Here's Neela Kina. Here's Gibson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Thon Maker. We talk about a player who is a consummate pro, Taj Gibson. No doubt. Taj is a guy who has always approached the game from a veteran standpoint. He's a great leader, great defensive player, and in between the lines and out, you can count on Taj Gibson. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for. What you love about Taj Gibson is his leadership. This guy is an intelligent, ferocious competitor who plays his role to a T. Alfred Payton, he's checked in for Neil Aquino. Both free throws good from Gibson. So it's Detroit now. 16-point lead. Pass to Snell. And Dumboya now top the key. The Pistons rebound. Back to Snell. Kicks the maker. Launches a three. Traps in the tray. Maker's got six here in this quarter. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Bullock. Fires from deep. Here's Barrett from the arc. Yeah, and that one put them over the limit. And it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. For New York, they have been coming through at the charity street. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Shooting two. good from Gibson. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. And wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. I remember it very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> there at the pass to Peyton. Gibson with it. Lock at six. From outside the arc, they get it back. 
Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Stolen by Bullock. Now the dish to Peyton. Now here's Bullock, guarded by Jackson. Five to shoot. From about 19 feet, doesn't go that time. The Pistons go the other way with it. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's Snell, covered by Peyton. Gibson against Jackson. He kicks to Maker, a three ball. Pistons keep it alive. Back to Jackson. There's the triple. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Now here's Randall. Bucket is good. Randall's got 10 points in the game. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. And Alfred Payton with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Dennis Smith, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. New York on D. 17-point game. And here's the fast break. Barrett leading the way. And out of bounds. The Pistons will take it. And checking out some numbers for Reggie Jackson. Last season's performance for him put up about 15 points per. Four assists and two rebounds. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Now, here's Doomboy. Here's Snell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Boy, Gibson's so good at timing these rejections. Twice on the pipes from Taj. There at the pass to Gibson. The 11-footer, and that one is good. Seven points in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. it out of it it's blocked and it's out of bounds the Knicks able to retain possession here so for the Knicks Robinson comes in for Randall and Ellington is subbed in for Peyton Smith against Jackson. Barrett, wide open, he fires. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Barrett's got himself on the board with three there. And here is Brown to the middle. Here's Jackson. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Wood, he's checked in for Thon Maker. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Brown. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Ellington kicks to Smith. Back to Ellington. Plays it up and banks it in. Ellington's got five points in the quarter. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And now, in his second year of coaching the Knicks, 
David Fisdale putting more of a stamp on this team, changing the mindset of the franchise. Well, the New York Knicks hired David Fisdale to steer the ship with a group of young players. And I want you to think back to where he earned his stripes. That was with the LeBron James and Dwayne Wade championship Miami teams. So he knows culture and he knows winning. That free throw, no good. So for the Pistons, Henson comes in for Dumboya, and King subbed in for Tony Snell. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Portis is checked in. Good on the second free throw. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Now, here is Robinson. Smith outside, beyond the arc. Rebound, Detroit. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's Galloway. Connects from three-point range. Galloway's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> one way to extend the lead continue to light it up from long range they have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line now here is Smith outside Robinson down to five on the shot clock and again it's the Knicks missing Detroit leading by 17 Jackson is doubled passes it to Wood Inside, here's King. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Well, we know this guy's last season a little bit up and down for Dennis Smith Jr. Not sure he wanted out of Dallas, but certainly dealt to the New York Knicks. But now they think this guy is a cornerstone for their franchise. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And with Smith, he had lost the ball handling duties in Dallas to Doncic. And you know what, Doris? It made sense probably for him to move on. Yeah, this is one of those trades, I think, that will benefit everyone involved. Dennis Smith Jr. is a better player with the basketball in his hands. And once he left, he got his confidence back and started to create great opportunities for the Knicks. And you spend any amount of time watching Dennis Smith Jr., Greg, his leaping ability makes for some impressive highlights. I mean, he's got the size and the off-the-charts athleticism. Now just trying to figure out how to realize his obvious potential. And it's the Knicks with the ball, following the bucket by the Pistons. Robinson with it. Well, that's his second foul. Does he take a more cautious approach here the rest of the half? For New York, they have been getting it done at the line. 10 for 12. Shoot two. And he can't get the first one. This is an area where Dennis Smith Jr. is working on, right? As the primary ball handler, you have to be able to make your free throws. And he sinks the second. Pistons leading by 18. The pass to Henson. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. For me, short ball.
107 left in the first half. Here's Ellington. New York, no good that time either. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. Pass to King from downtown. With the second effort, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. Detroit shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Frank Neely Keen has checked in for the Knicks. And that one misses. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Here's Portis. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, you can see Frank Nilakina running the offense and growing with every opportunity. Covered by Smith. Over to the left wing. King left side. Just five on the clock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. A costly foul there. He'll shoot three free throws. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. The Pistons have hit half their free throws in this one, going three of six so far. And he hits the first of three. He hits the second from the line. Nails the third. Knicks trail by 21. Now Smith. He has five. Over to the wing. Here's Neela Kina. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Smith's got three assists in the game. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. The Pistons on top, they lead by 18. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you say about how things are going chemistry-wise so far? I love our guys. We have a great group of young men that are competing hard, and uh, it feels good because I know our guys are totally engaged and focused and giving us what they have. Dwayne, thanks a lot. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated, and now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through. The story early on was Reggie Jackson, who was on fire. He had 25 points, two steals, and one rebound. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Well, how about that ball move? That was a true definition of team basketball. All five guys moving, all guys rotating, everyone touching the ball, a bunch of assists, tons of easy baskets. It gives everyone on the floor confidence when you're playing like that. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of their They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You gotta protect the rim. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And with 
with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Reggie Jackson has been sensational. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Knicks. Taj Gibson is out there with Randall. Then there's Reggie Bullock. Then there's Peyton. And it's Barrett at the two-guard spot. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, in Blake Griffin, the Pistons have their biggest star in years, probably going back to their championship team of 2004. A return to all-star form for Blake meant tremendous individual numbers last season. Pistons hadn't won a playoff game in more than a decade. Still not the result they want in 2019. The Pistons will be trying to capitalize during Blake's prime. Kevin, we'll see where this franchise goes from here. He sure will, David, but he's a terrific player. Thank you so much. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. And the left side. Jumboya pulls it in. Jumboya's got four rebounds in this game. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Now, here's Brown. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Six to shoot. There's Jackson with the three. Carries it from three-point range. Jackson's got 28. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. That's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Jackson against Payton. Shot clock at five. Off the run. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Brutal. Showing improvement in that aspect of his game. Barry wants to get better firing off the catch. Now, here's Brown. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. New York takes possession. And so here is New York. Peyton passes to Barrett. Peyton outside. Pass to Bullock. Five on the clock. It's up a three, and it's Peyton. That time on the assist from Barrett. Peyton's got five points so far. Well, in this day and age, assertiveness as a scorer from a young point guard is critical. Peyton on the catch and shoot, no hesitation. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. And they double up Jackson. Dishes it to Brown. Now, here's Doomboy. He's defended by Randall. Four on the shot clock. And Snell tries again, and the layup is good. And Snell's got his second basket of the night. A good board there, Kevin, but overall, they're getting slightly out rebound. Barrett dishes to Peyton. Outside, Gibson. Back to Peyton. This is his That's his first Down to five. 
on the shot clock. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Jackson down low, covered by Pete. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Pistons have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. Shooting two. And that one falls for Jackson. Jackson hits both of them. And so Payton will bring it up for New York to the paint. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. Well, what you want to see from Alfred Payton are floor general skills on full display. Finds the open teammate. Nice. Now here's Jackson. He has 30. Brown outside. Jackson against Payton. Lock at six. Here's Maker, guarded close, and it's good. The time running down on the shot clock. Maker's got 10 points. Now that's a bad shot until it goes through the net. Peyton passes to Bullock. And here is Gibson. Feeds to Barrett. Plays it up off the glass. Barrett's got five points now this quarter. Well, the big man, Taj Gibson, pretty assist there, Kevin. Pistons leading by 20. And for a lot of these kids, Greg, it's interesting how quickly teams expect them to get up to speed. Case in point, R.J. Barrett. Yeah, I mean, he had only the one year of college, already being asked to produce. Fortunately, he's very mature for his age and generally plays up to the level of competition. Here's Randall after the basket by Detroit. Shoots over to Boya, and he can't bank that one in. Feeling out a bit. Jackson up top, covered by Pete. Shot on the wing. It's deflected, and they're able to recover. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And the Pistons making a change here. Woods checked in. The Knicks also changing it up. Robinson's checked in for Gibson. And Ellington is subbed in for Reggie Bullock. Peyton outside. Benson check in for the Pistons. Langston Galloway comes in for Jackson. And then for New York, Kevin Knox comes in for Julius Randle. And Frank Neely Kinas subbed in for Alfred Payton. Pass to Barrett. Some nice passing by New York here. They get a hand on it. Now Detroit moving it up to the wing right side. Wood with the bucket. Wood's got eight points. Yeah, great look there. Credit Galloway with the vision to spot the open man. For New York, they've gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Neely Kina kicks to Barrett. Ellington dishes to Barrett. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Ellington. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touch by Brown. Let's take a look at the numbers for Robinson. How he did last season. He was around seven points a game last year. Almost two and a half blocks and six rebounds. You know, you look at the numbers and you think that this is great, but we know that he's capable of even bigger production. You know, the numbers look okay, but the eye test tells us unequivocally he is capable of more. That is the sign of a star right there. So it's the Pistons now after R.J. Barrett's three-pointer that didn't go. And that's a foul. It's called on Wayne Ellington. That 
will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And New York making a change here. Portis has checked in. continues to go their way pretty much the story of the game and he gets it to go from the corner he's got eight uh, assists like that have typified their effort today terrific ball move floats one up Nila Kina can't hit it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. rebounded by Knox New York's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Portis. Here's Nilakina. He's got seven. Here's Knox. Drains it from nine feet away. It's so obvious Nilakina is a pass-first point guard. This guy is an exceptional passer with very good vision. Here's Galloway. with the block and the call will be against Langston Galloway that's his first foul they could use a big shot here to get this offense going too many empty possessions right now they need a basket sent away they recover it Portis walked again to the inside uses both hands to slam it down what a terrific pass work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate passes it to Ellington here's Knox takes the three gets the three-pointer to fall Knox has got six points their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half Poke loose the pass to Henson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's his first first foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Shooting two. That's good from Henson. That's checked in for Wayne Ellington. Henson hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Neely Kina passes to Smith. Now here is Robinson. Shot clock at six. Here's Portis. And Henson pulls it down. Henson's got rebound number five here tonight. Out left to the wing. Guarded by Robinson. Robinson pulls it in. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here's Smith. Shot clock reset for the Knicks. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his third whistle. And with the way Mitchell Robinson can protect the rim doors, there's a lot to like about that second-round pick. Yeah, on draft day, Mitchell Robinson flew under the radar, but he had a great summer league. He got tremendous minutes early as a rookie. This is a great leaper, a great shot blocker, always something teams can use, both of those attributes.
and that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Detroit's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Stolen by Robinson. And Smith with the clear path to the hoop. And Smith with the stuff. Well, this is where Dennis Smith Jr. is so dangerous. Excellent in transition. My goodness. Pass to Ensign. Robinson with the block. Here's Knox. And the powerful one-handed slam. Well, how about the athleticism of young Mr. Knox? Get up, sir. The Pistons have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Shooting two. The first one fall. Akers checked in for Henson. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for the Knicks. He hits both from the strike. 54 seconds left in the third quarter. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for New York. Here's Robinson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Thon Maker. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Pistons leading by 21. Galloway taking his time here. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Portis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And finished off by Robinson. Well, just tremendous awareness from Dennis Smith Jr. Recognizing a teammate is open. Let me make the game easy for him. Covered by Smith. To the wing on the left. Pass to Galloway. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range. Off on that one. Well, there are physical tools and basketball skills, and Neil Aquina obviously has got excellent defensive abilities. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Pistons lead by 19. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And 
mind as we head into the fourth. We'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. King is out there with Wood. Then there's Maker. And it's Galloway in at the two. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Just five on the clock. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Now, here's Bullock. Here's Robinson. Rebounded by the Pistons. King's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the left side wing. Passes it to Maker. Over Smith. And the basket by Maker. And the Pistons lead by 21. How about the assist coming off the deck? What a pretty bounce pass. And there's the pass to Smith. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got five assists tonight. Well, Dennis Smith Jr. expanding his range, and that one from long distance. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Gibson's checked in for Robinson. Ando comes in for Bobby Portis. And Barrett subbed in for Smith. And they double up Jackson. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Now, here's Doomboy. He's guarded by Bullock. Pass to Galloway. Fires the three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Three-point marksmanship he showed at St. Joseph's. Galloway showing he can stretch it out to NBA range. Now here's Peyton. Kicks it to Barrett. There's the three. Kept alive. Here's Gibson. And Maker sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Barrett. And here's Bullock. Here's Peyton. And here is Gibson. Goes up again. Jumboya pulls it in. Jumboya's got six rebounds in the game. Passes it to Galloway. And another three for Detroit. He's hit four now from behind the arc. Two in each half, making an impact. Jackson against Payton. High arcing shot. And he sinks the layup. Well, in the pick and roll, Alfred Payton trying to advance his skill set. Nice play right there. And Alfred Payton with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Doris, you and I love history. And we were talking the other day, you and I, about Bill Russell and his 11 championship rings. You think anyone's ever going to break that record? I think it'll be close to impossible, Kevin. And the reason is, number one, uh, there were so many fewer teams back then for Bill Russell, in no way diminishing the greatness of one of the game changers, both between the lines and outside the lines. Bill Russell will always be an historic figure. Uh, but it's very tough to compare eras. There's now 30 teams, nutrition, conditioning, coaching. Uh, there's just so much more information in the current era. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. So here is New York, and so it's Rendell bringing it up now for the Knicks. Bullock kicks to Payton. To the middle, here's Gibson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. We know Taj Gibson is not opposed to playing physical basketball. In that instance, he seeks contact and gets an opportunity. good from Gibson. 
Of course, you and I were just talking about something Commissioner Silver said the other day about a proposed midseason tournament. What do you think? Well, I certainly think if they do move to a midseason tournament, it's going to have to have real value for it to matter. To get the fans engaged, something has to be on the line. So, number one, you obviously, you're going to have two goals. Instead of one championship, maybe you want to win that midseason tournament, too. Here's Snell. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. Offensive rebound. Back to Snell. Shot clock at five. Shoots the three. And he's good on the three ball. They've given up a lot of three pointers here today. For New York, they've gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Fires for three. No good from Peyton. Detroit's gone three of four from downtown here in the fourth. And the dunk by Jackson. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. New York calls timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. So for the Pistons, Morris is checked in for Maker. And it's Brandon Knight in for Reggie Jackson. And then for New York. Marklis is checked in for Reggie Bullock. Ellington comes in for Barrett. And Alonzo Triers subbed in for Alfred Payton. Now here's Ellington for the three. And the three ball is good. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Knight taking his time here. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Well, some of these players are making more money on endorsement deals than on their NBA contracts. I mean, <laughs> I just shake my head at that, don't you? It, it's an amazing time in which we live because the power of social media and the understanding of today's athlete that their brand is significant and that their brand extends outside of the, the lines of competition. You see so many men who uh, have overseas opportunities, whether you're talking Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Donovan Mitchell, uh, they understand the power of the face and the talents they bring to the table. Truly, truly remarkable young men. Remarkable indeed. And there's the foul, it goes on Tom Gibson. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Von Makers checked in for the Pistons. Here's Snell. And they double up Jackson. Tumboya gets a wide open look. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist in this one. New York's gone two of five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That will be foul number five on him. Knox, he's checked in for New York. Kevin Knox. And the Knicks with possession here. Peyton the bounce pass. Randall with the bucket. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Gibson up top. 
Doris, in 2004, the Charlotte Bobcats became the NBA's 30th team. When do you think we're going to see another team added, whether it's an expansion or, or even multiple expansions? Did? Well, let's go directly to the most important source, and that's Commissioner Adam Silver, who has said that expansion is inevitable, but right now, not a huge priority. So, you know, listen, we've heard Seattle is on the short list of cities that wants to get a team, and what a great city, what a great NBA fan base. I hope someday we get back to Seattle. So much history up there. You're correct. Here's Knox. Fading outside from deep. And the Knicks hit again from deep. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Jackson passes to Dumboya. Down low, Maker up and in on the layup. Maker's got four points in the quarter. Well, what a job punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Inside. And there's Randall on the assist for Peyton. And it's getting late, guys, but all of a sudden they have hope when just a little while ago it looked like hope was lost. Knocked away. Now the pass to Dumboya. The Pistons working the ball around now. Bangs home the trifecta. Ellington with it. Doris, isn't it interesting that we're seeing some teams with more three-point attempts than two-point attempts? It's incredible, Kevin, that every year over the last decade, you see more three-point attempts across all 30 NBA teams. And think about the Houston Rockets. In each of the last two years, the Rockets have actually taken more threes than twos. This is the evolution of the game. It is not going anywhere. There's two high-valued shot in the league. Restricted area twos, that means point-blank opportunities at the rim and three-point shots, and everything else in between seems to be getting lost. And so here is New York after the basket by Detroit. Peyton against Jackson. Peyton kicks to Gibson. The nine-foot shot, and too long on the shot. And they've only got a slight edge on the board, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here for the Knicks. Robinson's checked in for Gibson. Reggie Bullock comes in for Kevin Knox. And Barrett subbed in for Wayne Ellington. Jackson is doubled. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Pistons with possession here. Snell finds Jackson. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. Doris, when you look at the success of international players, and the league has a litany of very good international players, Doncic being the latest success story, uh, is the perception changing about these kids Shoot when two. they come from overseas and play in the NBA? Well, one of the greatest, and then to me, the greatest international player of all time, Dirk Nowitzki, a Hall of Fame player, probably changed the perception uh, to start with. Now, listen, over the years, Luca is going to have perhaps a Hall of Fame career if he stays healthy. The reality is this. The NBA is looking for the best players to man those 15 roster spots of the 30 NBA teams. It doesn't matter where you're from, what the color of your skin is. If you can play the game of basketball and play it at the highest level, the NBA wants you to be a part of their league. Now here's Peyton. One thing we know about Alfred Peyton, this guy has got supreme confidence. He will force the issue if he's this close to the cup. That free throw missing. I think Alfred Payton has exciting potential. He's got unbelievable defensive instincts and work habits. He just needs to develop a little bit more on the offensive end. And he's good on the second. 
Dwyer, when you look at draft eligibility requirements, it is a very fluid topic with a lot of different ways it could go, a lot of moving parts. Where do you stand? I'll tell you the truth, Kevin. I, I'm conflicted about this because I believe there is real value to the college experience. There's high-level coaching across the game at the collegiate level, uh, but I also believe that young men who have talent should be able to, when they are eligible, decide when they want to become professionals. So, listen, I'm sort of in the middle. There are legitimate arguments arguments to be had for both sides what I hope regardless is we get the best players in the league and that's certainly going to happen whenever it happens and this has been a comedy of errors I mean you can just add another one to the list Peyton against Jackson poked away stolen by Bullock No one near Peyton as he lets it go. New York, no good that time either. Pistons leading by 23. Round with it, picked up by Barrett. Jackson from long range. Great D that time from Peyton. And so Peyton will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Here's Barrett. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Greg, talking to scouts about R.J. Barrett, they love the athleticism. But what makes him especially good is the work ethic and the confidence. Yes, yeah, some elite prospects will, will take plays off. This guy never does. He's not one that sits around and reads his press clippings. He's a warrior, a leader, and, and he's proven to be a winner. And the first one at the line is good. We're seeing some great shooters with length. Uh, tall players shooting from outside. That seems to be the rage right now. But when you look in your crystal ball, Doris, what might be the next player uh, trend in the NBA? So we saw the evolution of big men as three-point shooters. Men being able to enter the league as sort of back to the basket consistent rebounding forces out of the post now stepping away and becoming threats as face-up scorers to me one of the most intriguing young players in the league right now is Nikola Jokic here's a seven-foot guy who is a tremendous playmaker his instinct is to pass more than it is to score so you wonder is that the next evolution of big men and then the other thing Kevin you are starting to see offensive rebounding went away as a focal point of teams in the NBA you are starting to see teams go back after the offensive glass. Does that continue? Second chance is a big statistic, isn't it? It is. Here's Robinson following the score by Reggie Jackson. Robinson kicks to Barrett. Pass to Bullock. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Thon Maker and the sharpshooter Reggie Bull. Took some time for him, Greg, here in the NBA, but you know, he's going to shoot it. Bullock has always been a consistent threat from outside, and that is why this team loves him. It doesn't offer too much else, but he can open up some room inside with that ability to hit from deep. Two, two. And the first one drops. Hiring college basketball coaches has been kind of hit or miss, Doris. Why do you think that's so? Well, obviously, coaching in college and coaching in the NBA are drastically different things. As a college coach, you've got to be concerned about the eligibility of your young men. You've got to be recruiting the next crop, even while you're coaching your current group and your current roster. In the NBA, you get to focus exclusively on coaching. You're not talking about recruiting. Uh, you're not having to deal with anything other than grown men uh, who have a desire for greatness in the NBA. And I think so much of it doesn't necessarily mean success or failure, whether you come from college or not. Success in the NBA is a multifaceted proposition. So I don't necessarily define it as, oh, this guy came from college, this guy came from the European leagues, this guy has been an NBA assistant. So many things go into it, Kev. Portis, he's checked in for New York. Kevin Knox comes in for Reggie Bullock.
That's good from Harkless. 109 left here in the fourth quarter. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Detroit. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. And once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Reggie Jackson. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Now here's Knight. Morris, left side. Five on the clock. Puts it up. A shot by night, no good. Here's Nilakina. Harkless, the pass to Nilakina. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.